flying out to New Orleans. Book Alliance Day 1. Was a mess and a half when I met you. Knew in my heart I would fall. What I didn't see coming. So it is day of the conference uh, we flew in yesterday from Detroit mm -hmm. to New Orleans and then I did some volunteering and then kind of just crashed at night so nothing too exciting um, but today we went to a little bakery and they have these things I think they're called king cakes I know the big one is I don't know if the mini ones have a different name um, but they randomly have these babies on them and I don't understand Ooh, what the cool. reference is but it has something to do with Mardi Gras but anyway they look like a cinnamon bun with like icing on top so I'm excited to try it. She would love me through it all. I've got mountains to climb, I've got dragons to fight, but still you are here, right by my side, and I don't want to do this alone. Got my battles to win, the score is still to heal, and still you are here. So it is day two of the conference and today I went for food with some friends, went to a panel in the afternoon about wellness from an indigenous perspective which was really really phenomenal and is one of the best panels I've ever been to at any conference. Um, and then I went to dinner with some friends and that was a really really rad to like walk around and then I went to the Digging Roots showcase which is probably one of if not the best live shows I've ever seen. Like showcases don't get encores and they literally got an encore and it was rad. It was so much fun and it was so beautiful, so healing and grounding and yeah just a highlight of like music in general in my life and then I played a showcase and now I've got like two hours off and then I play another showcase at 1am and I have to volunteer in the morning at 8 30 so I'm probably going to go to bed relatively early at like 2. So, that's what day two has been so far. Here's my outfit. I got tennis shoes, this cool dress from Old Navy, and this Hollister thing. And then my, some of my favorite beaded earrings from my friend Erin, who is phenomenal. She's based in Ottawa and Fort Francis, and she does great work. So, if you're looking for beaded earrings. Waiting for something to happen to show I was. <sighs> See, there's a big dilemma because it's stunning outside. It is 18 degrees and it's like negative 12 at home right now, and it's 18 degrees and so sunny. But I need to take a nap. I slept for like six hours tonight or like last night, five hours the night before, and like four hours the night before that, and I usually sleep for like eight to 10 hours. So I have very little sleep, and I so, so, so need to take a nap, but it's so beautiful, and it's like three o'clock, so I feel like if I nap for like an hour and a half, then I'll start to, the sun will go down, it won't be as nice. So I'm in this predicament, but I think I really, oh, the vlog camera was way too close to my face. Whoops. I think I need to have a nap, so I'm gonna have a nap, but like... To show I was too much Man, my fears with compassion Love me as a Those are the lovely pairs who are also from London, Ontario. 
super lovely souls. Um, I just saw Madeline Rogers and she did an amazing job. My heart is so full. I decided to walk from the 11th floor up to the 22nd floor, which I kind of regret. I'm at floor 19. I feel very out of shape. But here we are. I don't, it's like 11.30. And I don't have a showcase till 1.50, so I'm gonna go have a nap because it's been a long day. And I'm almost at floor 22. Guys, I really need to work out more. Good morning, New Orleans. It is day four of the conference. It's our last day. And I got to sleep in today, which was really nice. Just had some speed meetings, got to get some lunch, and then go to some panels. And then I have a lot of friends showcasing tonight as well as I have two showcases. So it's a very packed, busy day. It's very sunny outside, so I might go for a walk. And that's kind of where we're at. It's going to be good. on our day off. This is the Mississippi, which is, is it the longest river in the world? I, it is in North America. I want to say the world though. And it's just like very humbling to be beside such a large body of water. I'm really glad that I took some time off to come hang. Like the 